before we leave you tonight, there are two things I need to tell you. The first one is this. The Singers Forum's Actors' Equity Association uh, Scholarship Program provides subsidized voice lessons for students all across New York City and Connecticut and the Tri-State area. It allows them to take affordable voice lessons, but for the first time ever, we have, through the generosity of the forum, we have three full scholarships to offer, and we will be beginning auditions for those scholarships in August. That's the big news tonight. You guys, you can clap for that. Current members of the program are eligible to audition for it, as well as new program members coming in. For the first time ever, we have never based the program on financial need. It has always been based on artistic ability, our belief that we can help the people who audition for us. But for the first time ever, we will use financial responsibility and financial availability to be able to determine eligibility for these three scholarships. We will be reaching out to some of the donors beyond our initial group and the Singers Forum Trust to try to raise money for additional scholarships over the next year. Um, to support a single scholarship only costs $4,200, and that's 30 lessons over a one-year period. Um, spread the word. We're very proud of the program. And as you've heard, the voices are in fantastic fucking shape. <laughs> 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 very quickly, I'm going to make oh, he knows on the bass. <laughs> Eric Lass at the piano. Now, a very brief statement. Uh, about six months ago, uh, Patrick Dwyer was awarded the John Waller Witch Award for songwriting. It was the 2015 John Waller Witch Award through MAC, Man the Association of Cabarets and Clubs. Um, I found it amusing that a man who had written a song celebrating the joys of participating in community theater could not be there to perform his own song and sing it because he was performing in a production of Brigadoon. <laughs> uh, when the song itself was exactly about that. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Patrick Dwyer.